With that being said, guys, welcome back to another episode of What You Take, the show where we talk about just about anything we can possibly think of and bring you guys along for the unfiltered, unapologetic ride. As always, you're going to have myself here, Steve, my brother Chris. Hello. Fuck you guys, I'm just doing my nailer. And sexy, the asthmatic Spence. Hi, I'm Spencer. Uh, <laughs> I don't know how to talk. Uh, right now, I'm sucking down some nice, nice abuterol to help my lungs. And uh, it's going to help me get through this episode. I have to hold in my breath for a little bit before I start talking because that's how inhalers work. But uh, it's okay. <laughs> they never my... show that in the movies, <laughs> by yeah. the way. Yeah. You ever watch that in a movie? Cause they, I don't know why asthma is the most common movie thing ever. And then somehow they come across some instance where their asthma is going to affect them to death. Yeah. I don't know what to tell you, bud. Ain't easy being wheezy. That's all, that's all there is to say. Yeah, it's not. It's not what? It's not easy being No, wheezy. it's really not. No. In fact, some might say it's quite difficult being wheezy. Yes, it yeah. is. Steven, what are you doing? I'm pulling up our next reaction. Oh, what, what what's up? The Avatar game? Yes. Uh, we got release information. I did a little bit more digging. We got some stuff for Avatar Frontiers of Pandora. So we're going to do another react here. I want to see what's good. And we're going to figure out... If this is something that we would jump on once it gets released. This one does have a confirmed release date already. Um, for it, we are looking at December 7th. On which systems? PS5. PS- Ex- yep. Uh, that the, All next-gen stuff. The, the, all the majors? Yep. So it's not an exclusive. Correct. Gotcha. So let's take a fucking peek. Sorry, guys, that was just my indigestion. But if you are not the Rani, don't be a Hemingway. Captured on PS5. Okay. And this is again made, this is uh, an Ubisoft game. The RDA's greed poisoned our world. They took everything from us. From me. I was trained in their ways. Their technology. Their weapons. Things that a Nazi should not know. And then one day, they left. Hell's Gate is under attack. Evacuate now. Kill all the Navi children. But before they did, our teacher saved us and put us to sleep. This is your only chance to survive. And there I remained for 15 years. Until one day, I awoke. And I was free. Hey, this looks beautiful. Mm-hmm. Right? First person. Mm-hmm. Free to decide who I was going to be. Free to oh, are we getting mounts? What I was meant to do. Okay. Now you see what they kept you from. You're true. Visually, it looks great. Open world. We're totally getting mounts. Oh, yeah. Now Pandora is under attack again. Don't let the Na'vi get in our way. Get rid of them. And I have a choice to make. I choose to protect my home. It's like Doom, but with people. I was a child of two worlds. I am no longer. Jeez. I am Navi. That was pretty fucking good. Yep. Sivako. 
Okay. All right, I'm kind of sold on this. I'm, like... I'm down. I'm hoping it's it's a longish campaign though, because right. like a lot of these like really like big AAA games tend to fall into this habit of like, oh, it's like a nine hour campaign and the rest Dude, of it's like open Cod, world. for example, like Cod's a dirt. That's a bad one for me. So I did a little bit of digging outside of seeing the the release trailer itself, right? right? Um, it is going to be open world. Okay. So one of the big features that we're getting from it, and I believe this one is made from the same people that created um, or developed uh, the Division series. Okay. Okay. So open world and your the things that you do throughout that world will then affect Pandora. So I think what you can do is you can go and snuff out these pockets of RDA like settlers and whatnot like, almost like a division sense where you have to clear out sections yes and far maybe, cry yeah and then what you're gonna see happen is then the from what i understand is pandora is gonna slowly start to like regrow you're gonna see like that nature and that wildlife kind of i start love to, when like, environments back. change like that because remember how in division where we'd like classify something and then all of a sudden it start like looking cleaner yep mm-hmm. same so. from what i understand same idea with your actions there with pandora dude this actually that'd be perfect for this game absolutely that way, you know so that's a big one. Um, the mounts seem between that and what I read seem to be confirmed because I'm what I've read is there's a high level of, cu- of customization between okay. your character. I would imagine then the mounts, yeah, because the banshee is kind of like your forever partner from what I remember of the movies. So you should be able to customize them pretty good too. Yeah. Here's the big kicker for me, and I think it would be awesome if it's true. I'm hearing multiplayer. That that would make Ooh. that would make sense. And even, like, one, it'll be fun to play. Two, it'll sell tickets. I mean, it's not a show, but you know what I mean. But um, the other thing, too, is it makes sense within the narrative structure of that game with this Navi uh, pod of children waking up. You can connect with other players that way, go on this journey together, things like that. Uh, It seems like it it would narratively and structurally fit within the game world without seeming too, like, forced. Correct. So, I mean... I'm on board with it. The multiplayer alone has me sold, but I mean that that combat, the Dude, game looks beautiful. Where she like whipped around and then shot the bow. We also like... just need a resurgence in like co-op games because yeah. like there's just not a lot of good ones out there, and like the ones that are out there are like massive online MMOs, like yeah. multiplayer online games. It's like we need a, a good resurgence in just a solid two to four player co-op type yep. campaigns. Um, because like, it's really easy to tell a good dynamic story with a good two to four person campaign. Right. No, I agree. Sorry. I'll get off my soapbox now. No, but I mean, the, I mean, the last... <laughs> no, it's like a valid point though. Like the last, however long everyone's been so focused on giant PVP games. I mean, COD's a really great example. You get yep. a super short campaign to like say that you made a campaign, but then everything's put into Warzone. Right. right. Then it's Warzone, and you got things like Fortnite, and like... I don't even, like, count those, dude, because it's just, like, it doesn't even... It's all Battle Royale. Yeah. Right. And you got, like, PUBG, and it's, like, even, like, Destiny is, like, Destiny's good, and, like, you can choose your fire team and fly around like that and whatnot, but, like, Destiny 2, is, it's still that giant online MMO yeah. kind of feel, like... Because, right. like, I don't mind it being scripted and kind of stuck to the story if it narratively makes sense. Yeah. Right, right, right. Um, which is something Destiny balances pretty well. It does. It does a decent you know, job. But of it. but there's definitely times when you're outside of the main campaign in Destiny where it's like, I, oh, I'm definitely in, a, in an MMO. Right. Like, well, the other part too, like here's where I'm curious about the multiplayer. Is like, are you just going through like the same story? Like, is it like the forest or is it like? Right, is the multiplayer an alternate game mode, or is the campaign right. going to be multiplayer? I'm hoping that the open world aspects of it and everything will still be multiplayer. Because then, like, you clear the campaign and everything, and you're like, all right, what are we doing now? Well, let's go clean up Pandora. Right. Well, that's what I was wondering, too, because when you said the progress of the environment, I'm like, well, how's that work, then, if you're playing with multiplayer? Right. So mm-hmm. we're all going to be at different points. And doing I think that missions. that I would imagine would come down to whoever the host is. Unless we get yeah. to like raid and shit, which would be cool. Like, oh, hey, go take down fucking hell. Like, I don't know, was it Blackgate? Yeah. Well, and also that's another problem that a lot of uh, multiplayer online games tend to run into is an issue <laughs> of Radiant Quest, which get irritating. Or, like, in The Division. Like, The Division was a fun game, but there are those Radiant quests that never fucking end. Right. It's like, there's, there's no way to actually beat the game because these quests keep repeating for, I like, weekly. I games that I can't beat. I want to have the satisfaction, and maybe this is the ADD in me or whatever the fuck, but I want to beat a game. Right, I want to be accomplished. Yeah. 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 Exactly. And it, it, it's... That's why I never got into WoW and shit. Like, Correct. I love the concept of WoW and shit, but I'm like, it doesn't end. Dude. Right, there's no way to finish it. And it's right. like, I want to be able to finish it. I need that dopamine, bro. (laughs) I need a checklist. I need to feel successful. 
But yeah, no. That's all I have. It, like. it, it, <laughs> It, it turns that into like a grind, and even if you have a graphically beautiful game or even a narratively satisfying game, you know, at the at the end of the day, what it comes down to is if you have an open world, you have side quests, and I believe that there should be a finite number of side quests. But side quests need to make sense, and if they are, if there's not going to be a finite amount of them, they need to not be repetitive, and they need it needs to be because there is a new threat or something new has happened. So it, it might be the same mechanic. But right. the narrative needs to be different. Right. I know this is completely far off, but you know what would have been great for the Navi? Mm-hmm. As far like, taking this game, but applying, like, Shadow of Mordor to it. Oh, yeah. Like, you know, you have your tribal leaders, and you have, like... Yeah, it's too bad they patented the Nemesis system. Did they? they? Did. WB they did. patented yeah. it, so That's nobody fantastic. else can use it. That's good Which is them. Co- I mean, it makes sense, dude, but, It like... does, but at the same time, it fucking doesn't. Because it's like you patented it, and then you're not using it you're in any of... you sitting on it. Yeah. Like, it'd be cool if like you patented it, and then you used it in other games. Right. right. But like they just patented it with Shadow of War, and then they didn't fucking do anything with yeah, it. Yeah, now right. it's just there. And then Golem was a fucking It's bust. like what Sony did with right. Spider-Man. Right. <laughs> He's ours, and we're sitting on it. Yeah, like... Welcome to our golden throne. Right. Weird. Not even golden at that point. Like it used to be golden, and I was just covered in shit. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Like, it, it's like again, I've... it's got that like, green off tone to it. Like, yeah. I, I love the fucking Nemesis system. No, like, it's, it's I mean, brilliant. Going like, back to what you absolutely, were absolutely, it was groundbreaking. Going back to what you guys were saying though, like because you, you prime example of this with a beautiful game, huge open world, multiplayer, but really suffered from story and things to do. Anthem. Anthem. Yeah. yeah. Every fucking time, I will go back to that game. Had so much potential. Customization out the fucking ass. Travel and scale in that game was beautiful. Well, dude, that's what pisses me off. It's like you get a good game and then they like fuck it up with just something minor that was just like an overload. It's always something like the story. The story's day one. How is this game getting approved? Oh, well, here's the story. Why does no one say that sucks? Thank you. Well, and the other thing too is like there's so much like it... Or I if feel like sound... we can walk into a writer's room and be like, yo, we can... Or if it sounds good on paper, and then when you get the, the progressive progress of it, and like, oh, this is how this is going to play out. Be like, so hold on, you're telling me that what was 500 pages of, like, paper or whatever the case is translated to 20 minutes of gameplay? No. Make it more. Well, and that's the thing, ultimately, is I feel like there's this dichotomy, and you can see it between different game studios, since we're fucking nerds, but, like, <laughs> there's, you, like you can definitely tell... We that, are? Like, you can definitely... No. You can definitely tell there's some companies that are like, no, we're making a game to make money, and there are other studios... Looking who at are, you, EA. And then there are other studios who are like, no, I'll I'm... I'll call it out. I don't give a shit. I'm telling a story... Naughty Dog. ...that happens to Naughty be dog. a game. Naughty they... Dog tells the best fucking stories. Yeah. Hands down. Yeah. The, like, there's a difference between using a game to generate sales and revenue and get people into it, and then there's another type of game, God of War, Assassin's Creed a lot of the times... Um, Assassin's Creed used to be better. Assassin's Creed Last used to be of better. Us. Last, Last of Us. Last of Us. Yeah. It's like, no, we're telling, this is a storytelling medium that you are going to become invested in through the gameplay mechanics. Yep. And that those you are know, two honestly, different things. Sit back, guy. When was the last time you played a good game where, like, when you beat it, you, like, sat there for a second and you're like, fuck. Jedi Survivor. Really? Yes. I haven't beat it yet. So Hog- mm. Hogwarts Legacy got me. I liked it. You it was, did. It was a satisfying narrative ending. Okay, because like I, I remember when I was a kid, I used to have those games. And you'd beat them, and like my, one of mine was like Seven Samurai, dude. But I mean, here's the thing, right? So to your question though, like those games just came out. Yes. Before that, there was a long. It's drive. been a fat minute. Yeah. It has, like you know, they've done some like remakes of some good ones or up the graphic quality, but like it's all just been like online. Rumble, or uh, Battle, Battle Royales, Royales, and shit like that. It's just, that's yeah. it. Final Fantasy's coming out soon. I'm hoping yeah. that'll be good, too. I mean, Final Fantasy has always had good narrative. Yeah. Um, that That's something I'm looking forward to. And on, honestly, that's the main thing I enjoy out of video gaming, is like, no, I want to partake in this thing. I want to like be right. part of it. I don't want to fucking rate... You guys ever, like, play a video game, and you look, and it's been, like, four hours, and you're like, what the fuck? Yeah. Like, didn't feel like four hours? Right. Honestly, um... Witcher. Witcher did that. Uh, Gotham Knights kind of did that to me a little bit. Did it? Okay, because, like, 
I'm like that when I play with people. Yeah. You know, that happens all the time. But when I actually like sit down and get into a game and I'm like, holy shit. Y'all, when was the last time all three of us hopped on? Oh my god! The forest, but Chris what? fixed his headset issue. Hey! Yeah. Nice. Guess what he did? What? Got a wired headset like I told him to. Yeah, dude, you gotta get wired. Mm-hmm. I so like we're the all wireless hop- is nice, but like I get it, man. We're all hopping on sometime soon, right? Fuck yeah. What what do we all have? Destiny. Destiny. Do you have Destiny? I do. Do you have Destiny 2? I have to download it. Isn't it still free? It's free, but you got to get like the latest expansions and things oh, like that. Yeah, Which are then... dirt cheap right now. Are they? Yeah. Okay. Like Witch Queen, dirt cheap. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I was going to say, Destiny's kind of nice in the fact it's pretty affordable mm-hmm. to keep yourself entertained. Well, at the very least, if we just wanted to get on and kill some fucking time, we could pop into like Gambit or something. Yeah, that's fair too. Mm-hmm. I'm down. Yeah, I know. I was just thinking about that too. I haven't gamed. I'm working seven to three thirty now. The rest of the summer. You know, I so. wondered why you picked up my phone call the other day. I was like, I thought he's done at like six thirty. Nope. Uh, yeah, no. Done at three thirty now. I dig that. Yeah, and I usually open so. Right. Well, the problem was before is I got to get done till six thirty. So I figured you were probably like eating supper with your family. And I'm you, going to bed. You're going to bed. So it's like we'll figure that out. Well, I'll tell you what. Uh, what we're going to go ahead and do is... I re- really want you to have a B-roll of every <laughs> time you have to crane like that. To <laughs> can, can you release like an outtake reel of just... <laughs> if I was smart, I would fucking put this camera facing on Spencer so I could look at the thing and have that camera face you. So then you can just look through the viewfinder of well, it? Well, I have an attachment to that one that I can point in any direction that I want. Oh. So, but you know, I'm stupid. That's okay. With that being said, You're guys, part of our family. we're going to wrap this up. <laughs> Fuck you. <laughs> You're a rip. It's okay. We're going to wrap this one up early um, with the, um, with the reaction there to Avatar Frontiers of Pandora coming out December 7th, 2023. It's not even 2024. Yeah, this I is know, coming like, out like coming six out months. A couple months. Yeah. Um, we're on board with it. Hopefully we'll definitely be jumping on that. Hopefully it's more than two player multiplayer until next time. Peace. Hey guys, share the show, share the show. Share the goddamn show. Get up, wherever you're standing right now. Put us on the loudest volume setting of your phone. Don't, Can, don't you dare. And don't share the don't, show. Don't share the show. Just share the show. You know, you don't have to get up. You're probably just listening to this and just hit subscribe on your phone. I want you to full form tackle somebody and put headphones on them and share the show aggressively. Make them listen. Share the show. <laughs>